Uh, so Terry, obviously, the, just the day after, your thoughts on coming out with that win and uh, I guess getting ready for game five. You know, it was, uh, to get a win on, on their court is obviously um, uh, feels good. You know, we did a lot of good things. I liked the way we kept our composure, uh, made big plays. Um, it wasn't an easy game, uh, but uh, I thought the, end, the run at the end of the first half was really important, gave us some momentum going into the second half. Um, but, you know, it's good to be up 3-1. Um, but, you know, it's, uh, we got to close them out now. A lot of guys talk about composure and just not, not talking. Uh, so it seems like you guys must have maybe discussed that before that, <coughs> kind of knowing it might, the direction it might go. We talked about uh, being us, you know, doing what we do and uh, doing what's in our best interest. And I thought our approach to it uh, was in our favor. You know, we, we went about our business, played our game, uh, didn't get caught up in any, uh, anything else other than what we needed to do. They beat you guys in all four games of the regular season. They were all close games, but uh, you guys have beaten them three out of four in a postseason. What's been the difference, you think? Well, you know, like you said, all four games were close in the regular season, could have gone either way. Um, you know, Paul George had three big games against us in the regular season. Uh, I think we're just two evenly matched teams. Uh, we were last year. We were this, this year. Um, very competitive. Um, you know, three. These games have been very competitive, and it's just uh, I, I can't really pinpoint why the first four went to them. And I think we're both playing hard, and uh, you know, we're we're probably playing better. I will say this, um, during the regular season, two of them were a back-to-back, -back, uh, our second of a back-to-back. -back. One of them was after a seven-game road trip, so that may have had something to do with it. Your defense is good. We talked about this last night, most of the game, but they got a lot of open threes there in the fourth quarter. Were you unhappy with that? And you, uh, you know, I haven't finished watching the game yet, but um, you know, when we had a lead and the only way they get back into it were with threes. And so, you know, we have to, Stay alert to that. If it, who knows? Maybe if it had been a closer game, we we might not have given those up. But we have to be vigilant. The three point shot is has been uh, huge in our regular season games and in our postseason games. Talking about that composure or and just focusing on yourselves, I imagine that that makes it easy to get ready for that game five and to not, not kind of put that cart before the horse. Even though you're up. No, I don't think anybody's going to be doing that. I mean, it's good to be going home and having a chance to close them out, but I don't think uh, I don't think our demeanor, I don't think our approach is going to change uh, game five versus the games before that. Seems like it's almost easy because Lillard's there. It's almost easy to take McCollum for granted, but man, he hit some big shots and made some big plays last night. Well, he did. You know, I thought he had a very very good game throughout. The transition three was was a big was a big momentum play for us, and uh, I'm glad he made it. <laughs> and he made a steal too right after that, and then got yeah. a bucket right. No, I I mean you know after a win like that, you can go up and down up and down the roster who played well. You know, CJ and Dame. Obviously, with their scoring, uh, Dame with his leadership, uh, Farouk was um, just did a little bit of everything. I thought Ennis's defense was was really important. Uh, when they changed, went to a smaller lineup, he was able to post up and we get some shots out of that and take a little time off the clock. Zach Collins came into his own in the second half. So, you know, when you have a win like that on the road, uh, you can point to a lot of people. Mo Harkless was uh, continues to do do everything uh, at the defensive end, made some athletic plays, rebounds. So it's, like I said, you can point to a lot of people after a game like that. Their, their body language at the end of the game, I didn't think was very good. Do you think you've broken their spirit a little bit? I didn't see that, but uh, you know, they're pros. I, I expect a great effort from, you know, it's, you lose a game on your home court, you're gonna be dejected, but I would expect them to bounce back game five and give a great effort.